Good morning, School of Light. We are in chapter 22 of the book of Job. Just to let you know, we are a Bible study type of ministry that is through the mail correspondence style. And when you request the Bible studies, you get your first one, you fill it out, complete it, send it back to us. It's free of charge. We grade it. We send you out the next one in the series. When you finish the series, you get a certificate of completion. Main thing being is that you get God's word into your heart and you get into God's word. So let's hop right into Job chapter 22. <clears throat> then, or let me get a drink of coffee. Mm, good coffee, coffee. strong. Then Eliphaz the Temanite replied, can a man be a benefit to God? Can even a wise man benefit him? What pleasure would it give the Almighty if you were righteous? What would he gain if your ways were blameless? He might gain some souls, right? It is for piety that he rebukes you and charges, brings charges against you. Is not your wickedness great? Are not your sins endless? You demanded security from your brothers for no reason. You stripped men of their clothing, leaving them naked. You gave no water to the weary, and you withheld food from the hungry. Though you were a powerful man owning land, an honored man living on it, and you sent widows away empty-handed and broke the strength of the fatherless, <clears throat> this is why snares are all around you, why sudden peril terrifies you, why it is so dark that you cannot see, and why a flood of water covers you. Is not God in the heights of heaven? And see how lofty are the highest stars? Yet you say, what does God know? Does he judge through such darkness? Thick clouds veil him so he does not see us. And he goes about in the vaulted heavens. Will you keep to the old path that evil men have trod? They were carried off before their time. Their foundations washed away by a flood. They said to God, leave us alone. What can the Almighty do to us? Yet it was he who filled their houses with good things, so I stand aloof from the counsel of the wicked. The righteous see their ruin and rejoice. The innocent mock them, saying, Surely our foes are destroyed, and fire devours their wealth. Submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. In your Christian, if you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove wickedness from your tent and assign your nuggets to the dust, your gold of a fur to the rocks in the ravines, then the Almighty will be your gold. The choice is silver for you. Surely then you will find delight in the Almighty and will lift up your face to God. You will pray to Him and He will answer you and you will fulfill your vows. What you decide on will be done, and light will shine on your ways. When men are brought low, and you say, lift them up. When men are brought low, and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. He will deliver even one who is not innocent, who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands. Well, I think this part right here is really pretty cool. What you decide on will be done, and light will shine on your ways. When men are brought low, and you say lift them up, then he will save the downcast. So that's a nice position to be in. Um, whenever you, whatever you want done, or whatever you decide on will be done, and then light will be shined on your way. That's really cool. And then also, when men are brought low and you say, lift them up, then you will save the downcast. You know, I think that's a, a lovely identity to have. You know, walking with God, Him shining light on your path, you getting the things done that you want to get done, of course, Him shining the light on your path, and then... <clears throat> The image of being the person that sees someone that's downcast and says, hey, man, come on, let's help you up. 
Let's let's uh, restore you. Let's, and then it says that he come say lift them up. Then he will save the downcast, and save. Help, same word, almost. You're not, you know, this is coming from Christ, and it's, you know, save means like save from total destruction. In this case, he's saving someone um, that is downcast. So you're not really like saving their eternal souls, but you might be saving or helping the downcast. Um, the Almighty is so awesome. And then again, here it says, if you return to the mighty, you will be restored. If you remove wickedness from your tent and assign your nuggets to the dust. What is he talking about? Nuggets, 24. Maybe the finest gold. Because uh, he talks about gold here right after. Your nuggets to the dust, your gold of a fear to the rocks of the ravines. So I think he's talking about gold. I think he's talking about kind of putting down the not using so much energy to hold the gold, so to speak, but to the Almighty, for He will be our gold. The choice is silver for us. You know, there's probably in Proverbs it says that you know God's word is is greater than than uh, precious stones. Um, and really, that's what we because like. Imagine you're dying. You're on the deathbed. And there's this, let's say this, this uh, Wi-Fi spot. This is all gold. You know, are you going to die and be like, hey, guys, I love you. But I love this gold too. Probably not. Now, you could use this gold and sell it um, or keep it to pass on. But... You know, it has value you could, if the person needed uh, medical care or whatever. But the point is, is that God's word is more valuable than that. Because in that same scenario, you're passing on. You have God's word in your heart, in your mind. You're meditating on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that's written in it. You have <clears throat> a grasping or a grasp of the word, but also... A relationship with the author that is more valuable than gold, of course, but more valuable than anything, probably, really. Um, so much good in this word of God. So much instruction, so much light so much direction it's wonderful thank you god for your word i have um one request is that you people have a need for a bible study just let me know it's so easy just let me know we'll get you on the list we'll send it to you and whenever you receive it you send it back it's at your own pace, too. So God bless. Have a good day. Stay in the Word.